everyone, it's Lana. I'm here for you today with the first of many videos on changing your mindset around lucidity and how that changes your experience of lucid dreaming. If you're tuning into this live with me today, just give me a hello in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And of course, I love doing these in an interactive way. So by all means, if you have any questions, thoughts, feelings, if you're resonating with what I'm going over, please let me know. Feel free to tune in, comment, let me know your thoughts, your feelings. But the principles that I teach about lucidity are especially beneficial for really developing and enhancing your lucid dreaming practice, of course. But as you all know, I'm someone who emphasizes the other side of the coin, which is lucid living, developing a lucid living practice that's lucidity in the waking state, because these are principles that are important and that can be applied to not just your dream life, but all areas of your life. If you're manifesting in your dreams, you can manifest in your waking life. If you achieve something in your lucid dreams, this is going to support you and accelerate you actually seeing the results in your waking life as well. You believe it, you dream it, you achieve it, you begin feeling worthy and capable of dreaming bigger for yourself. As you start to increase that self-worth, you stop going back into those modes of self-sabotage, you stop putting up with anything less than what you truly deserve. And you start living in a way where you're more likely to do things that you may not have done before, like ask for that raise, ask for that promotion, living out those experiences that you may have previously kept as just a fleeting thought or a desire something that you didn't feel confident in going for before. So for my students inside the Lucid Entrepreneur Lab, for attendees of some of my retreats like Dreaming Wide Awake, many of you inside the Lucid Dreaming and Lucid Living Facebook community, and myself, as we start going deeper into these spiritual, transpersonal works and begin manifesting some amazing and abundant lives for ourselves, it becomes more and more noticeable when there are people who are not working on the mindset first, right? Or doing that deep self-development, what some people call the shadow work, that deep exploratory work initially, and they get stuck with the mindset blocks and the struggle in achieving lucidity. And so this is such a simple process, but this part of the process is something that cannot be overlooked if you want to eventually end up hitting those deeper levels of lucidity, those deeper levels of manifestation. And so that's what I want to cover in today's training. So for example, if you believe that only people who have been studying lucid dreaming, practicing lucid dreaming for two to five years, are these people who can have those really powerful, really mind-blowing lucid dream experiences and that because you're someone who's only been, maybe only found out about the practice a few weeks ago, that you would not be able to have one of those types of experiences. Of course, this is an example of a blockage from your own self from having these types of mind-blowing experiences. If you believe, if you're someone who believes that you absolutely have to use one particular type of technique for manifestation or for lucid dreaming, or that you need to use this particular series of techniques at particular times in a certain way, you know, looking at your hand 20 times a day, setting alarms on your phone, and then doing some kind of mantra at three or four in the morning, 
to have a lucid dream, then of course it's going to feel like a nightmare for you to have a lucid dream. What you believe is going to translate into the experience that you end up achieving for yourself. And in all honesty, there are a multitude, millions of really unique lucid dreaming techniques, experiences, and opportunities that are available to you. They're ready for you at all times. There are many, many ways you can go about enhancing and increasing the frequency of lucidity in your life. So what I would encourage you to do as step one to begin to shift that mentality about what you can and what you cannot do is start thinking about the way you're talking to yourself or the way that your mindset is in terms of what you can or cannot achieve. Start shifting the perception of what might be a limiting belief for you or a perceived blockage for you. Start to open yourself up to the fact that lucidity can come easily. You can get lucid tonight. You can get lucid on a daily basis. Feed yourself with thoughts that can become new beliefs for you. Tell yourself things like, I am a powerful, conscious, lucid dreamer. I am capable of manifestations and miracles beyond my wildest dreams. I'm open to dreaming and receiving my biggest business breakthroughs yet. I'm stepping into my authentic self. I'm stepping into that next person who's going to receive that promotion, or I'm stepping into that next level version of me. I'm shifting out of anxiety, fear, the comfort zone. I am able to offer and charge a premium for my services and my gifts that I'm sharing with the world. And what I want to do is quickly actually read for you guys some real life examples of what some of the lucid entrepreneurs in the lap posted as affirmations for themselves this week. I'm going to keep their names private, but things like, I can remember all of my dreams each and every night. I can understand my dreams easily. I can lucid dream every 24 hour period. I'm facing all of my fears. I'm living freely. I understand relationships at all levels. My relationships are improving constantly. I'm truly following my heart's desires. I've started my business and it's easy for me. Things like, I'm taking back the missing parts of myself that I rejected as a child. I love all aspects of myself, even the ones that seem bad and unlovable. I know that light and shadow is about perspective. I'm courageous, I push through my fears. There's so many on here. I'm an accomplished and confident lucid dreamer. I share lucid dreaming and lucid living practices and concepts with my family, with my friends, with my clients. I'm on my way to becoming an expert lucid dreamer and people are seeking out my expertise. I've integrated lucid dream work into my practices and I wake up every day with fresh ideas on how to share this with the world. Some truly incredible affirmations that are coming out of my students that are much better than I could even put together. But I wanna see what you guys think you should say for yourself. Start posting them today. Affirm something for yourself today in the comments that you want to start off as one of these new beliefs that will start you cultivating a type of new thought process for yourself. Start building on your belief system and start noticing how your mindset will shift. You're drawing your thoughts into your manifestation process. You're creating literal new neural connections that of course with new connections uh, being built in your brain, they're going to lead you to a better outcome in your life. So step one is really shifting your experience around lucidity by looking at some of your limiting beliefs, both for lucid dreaming and for lucid living, because these practices go hand in hand. What is it that you're telling yourself throughout the day that's blocking you from entering this deep state of lucidity and abundance during the night? What is it that you're telling yourself during the day that's cutting you off from manifesting things bigger and better than you could ever initially imagine? What things are you telling yourself that are keeping you stuck? Where are you saying, I can't? If you believe that you're not capable of getting lucid every single night, 
it's not gonna happen for you. If you believe, if you really believe that you're not worthy of having that incredible breakthrough idea that takes you to six figures, that helps all of the people in your community, that drives you and lets you wake up feeling motivated, lucid, excited, then you're closing yourself off from truly receiving that. So stop living in a reality where you are starting to be the biggest blockage to your own highest potential. Step one is looking at that belief system, looking at your current belief system surrounding lucidity and manifestation. The next time you have a fear-based belief, the next time you have a self-sabotaging belief, the next time you have a thought that's anxiety-driven, bring awareness to that for yourself, for what it really is. Does that belief still serve you? Is it even based in truth? Where's the proof that you can't, right? Where does this thought even stem from? And sometimes when we start digging deeper into these processes, we start recognizing them for what they truly are. When they're not based in truth, these things start immediately crumbling. So are you telling yourself on a daily basis that you are a conscious and powerful lucid dreamer capable of manifesting things beyond your wildest dreams? Or are you telling yourself something along the lines of, I'm not that good at this? Because that's a thought pattern that is not based on anything other than maybe a previous thought that you decided was true and it doesn't at all help your current situation. So let's change that starting today. This is part one, and next week we're going to dive into how there are past experiences that can alter our present mindset and really how to rework and rewire and rewrite some of those things for yourself to enhance your lucidity and manifestation practice. So this was part one. Get this in your calendar for this time next week. Get it blocked off so that you can tune back in to part two. And as always, you can connect with me via my social media platforms. It's at Lana Sackwald on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, ding the bell so that you're notified of the future parts of this series. I do love receiving messages from all of you guys about what topics you'd love me to do trainings on. So as always, please feel free to leave your feedback and your key takeaways in the comments below. I challenge you, I challenge all of you here today to spend the rest of the day just consistently telling yourself that you are a powerful, conscious, lucid dreamer, that you are capable of manifesting your biggest, best, most abundant dreams, anything that your heart desires. I mean, why, why would you not do that, right? You have absolutely nothing to lose by giving it a try and absolutely so much to gain. So have an amazing rest of your week, wishing you the rest of the week full of big dreams, lucidity, manifestation, and abundance. It is life-changing, both personally and professionally. The process of really stepping into the next level of my entrepreneurship in ways that I hadn't even realized I was blocked, because the dream world reveals to you not only um, what's possible, but also what maybe is, is hidden. But I've learned so much about how lucid dreams can benefit my future and my business and it's been such an exciting adventure already and I cannot wait to continue on. I love the way she structured the course and how it's so clear and kind of step by step so for a complete novice like me um, who only really had a very vague idea of what lucid dreaming actually was I it felt really accessible. I feel more focused on exactly where I want to go and I am so grateful to be part of this course it will change your life. It will change your mindset. It will give you tools you never knew you wanted. Like, it's seriously amazing. Um, but I have to say that Lana is an amazing teacher of the class, and I would suggest anybody um, taking it. It's definitely scholarly, like college level kind of course, and it's an eight week program. So check it out. Even if simply on a one-on-one -on -one basis and her dream coaching, um, I think that's extremely valuable. If you are on the fence, if you are thinking about getting into your dream life, 
I suggest getting lucid with Lana.